don't get it, I think you'll see him go for it. Deeper under center to Howell. Look at the wall at Gamecocks waiting on him. Marshall Clark, one of the first ones there. Yep. Ron Thompson, the running back. The handoff will go to Thompson, greeted in the backfield. Olmstead sucks. Play number 14 on the opening drive of the game. Who has the football? Deaver finally gave way to Ron Thompson, who picks up a handful. Mount it's Parker Triggers. He had the rushing touchdown last week, and look at him stuffed at the line. In the middle there, and watch this. He's going to come up and stop him right in his tracks. North Alabama trying to punch it in. Blake Deaver hands off to Ron Thompson, and again, this Jacksonville State defensive line. Cooper one touchdown away from tying the school record for touchdowns in a career. He does not have one this season. He'll tuck it and run. Tackled by Will Evans and Wildcat. Triggers will hand off to Thompson, trying to stretch it out. He's swallowed up by Zach Woodard. Stand out. Third and 16, North Alabama, two of four on third downs today. Thompson catches the pass underneath and another big hit. A defense that had given up yards on that first drive. Sometimes you need your playmakers to step up in Jacksonville State. Get Zarek Cooper out of the backfield to West. West with a block. He has the first down around midfield. Stop down to the 38. Cooper steps up. He'll run for it. He'll slide down after picking it up. Kyra North Alabama. Outgained Jacksonville State, 21 plays to three. In the first quarter, there's Trey Berry. Big playmaker, first riggers in the backfield with Deaver. Pressure comes, Deaver steps up and he'll go down. The pocket collapsed. There's motions out of the backfield. Deaver to Dexter Boykin, his favorite target. Boykin roll, need to make it down to the 32. Deaver will give to Thompson, trying the right side. D.J. Coleman there to clean him up. Four come. Deaver across the middle, pass broken up. He was looking for Parker Trigger. Five straight passes without a touchdown. Here he goes to the air. Steps up, takes a shot, has Barry. He comes back for it, and there's a big play the Gamecocks need. It's today, 54 yards. Gamecocks on the ground. That's close. Pat Jackson will have it. Again, another physical run. He school record of 61 in a career held by Ed Lett. Throws across the middle, and there it is. He ties the Gamecock record to Quan Charleston, a 19-yard scoring strike for the Gamecocks. The playmaker. Jacksonville State takes the lead. The extra point on the way. At North Alabama in his second season. Takes a shot. For Cortez Hall, can't bring it in. On matchups, that time, Jacksonville State won it. Deaver on first and long, throws nearly intercepted. Rolls out to the right, and there he is. You see, he was open just for a second. Jacoby Bird turned defensive back right. Deaver steps up, he'll tuck it and run. And look at the big stick coming from Marshall Clark. He said, hello, Mr. Deaver, the tailback. He'll try to run for it. And again, Jacksonville State surging ahead. Umstead. Deaver to the air again. Jacksonville State chases him down. The pocket collapsed. DJ 25 yards passing and a score. First and 10 from his own 20. Run pass option, first reception for Logan McVay. So, then you factor in no spring training, no summer workouts. There's a big lane, Uriah West. Another first down pick, two of five on third down tries. Blitz comes, Cooper passes out of it, breaking free. McVay has the first down, he's still going. What a job, first. Cooper play action. He can run, and he'll slide down inside the 20. Cooper will try the sneak. Cooper muscling it in, touchdown Gamecocks. How about the strength showed right there by Zarek Cooper? 
Touchdown of the day puts Jacksonville State back out in front. The extra point attempt from Allen from the JSU 17. Cooper hesitates. Here's Barry down the sideline. When you need a big play, who do you turn to? to find he's the one that North Alabama has to keep an eye on. Great job by Cooper, sells the fake, and then throws it right down the sideline to the big tight end, 6'7", 245. The knee injury a season ago looks great. Cooper dumps it off. Samuel room to go. K.J. Smith shoves it. They're about 10 or 11 deep now on the defensive line. Cooper, play action, wants to load up. Barry again! Here goes Barry, touchdown saving tackle from Kyrie Fields. Well, he's the one, Trey Barry. Gamecocks in business, first and goal from the 10. They give to Samuel, bounces out, but he can't cut it in. A good strong run down to the one. Bodies coming in for North Alabama. Cooper, he'll take it in, touchdown Jacksonville State. There is a penalty marker down. I think North Alabama might have had too many people on the field. Deaver to Howell on the screen, and there was nothing much going there. Howell will lose one. And working left to right now. Blake Deaver back in the game, and he's sacked. Chris. Cooper on the give. West, Elaine. He'll roll close to the first down. The third down try. Cooper. Completes it. Russell has it. First down, Gamecocks. Gas and field goals made per game. Looking for his first in this one. Unofficially a 25-yarder. It's on the way, and he remains perfect. The game it was the first reception of the game for Andre Little. Deaver nowhere to go. You can call that a coverage sack. They have a touchdown lead over North Alabama. Cooper throwing on first down on this drive. Hits Dave Russell. Cooper will keep. Cooper will have the first down. Cooper will throw. Cooper completes it. And again, it's Dave Russell. How many turned pounds? The pressure comes, Deaver unloads. The pass is intercepted. Nicario Harper gets the interception yeah. to seal it. AJ is Joe Medley from the Edison Star. Uh, they, they had a lot of possession time there in the first half. It looked like you all really flipped the script on them there in the second half. What, what kind of adjustments did you make? Um, We just started. We we had limited mistakes. I I would say because on that first drive we gave up penalties. We gave up four penalties. So we we get we basically gave them the field to get down and uh, get the field goal. So that so we basically hunkered down and we played football. How we supposed to play football? How different was it uh, with, without Coach Cross on the sideline and with Coach Ogle running things? Um, it really wasn't wasn't too different. It's probably a little more energy with Coach, with Coach Gross here, but other than that, we were we were okay. Uh, how was it for you guys? They had some long drives. I mean, energy wise, how was it for y'all? Just kind of you know staying in there. I guess you know keep playing. Um, with the with the conditioning and stuff that we did, it shouldn't have been that hard. We got ones and twos that's all, that's always ready to go and switch out, and we have faith that they're gonna do the right stuff. So. We were, we were okay. Oh uh, man, it was a tough win. Uh, no, we got to execute on a little bit more plays. Defense, we got to get better, getting off the field on third downs. But overall, it was a great team win. Uh, we had a very the beginning, but uh, we were able to bash back and get a W. The passing touchdowns you had gave you 61 career touchdowns, tying Ed Lett for the most in JSU history. Uh, tell me what it means to have that record. It means a lot. Uh, I mean, y'all can't see it right now, but uh, I do have the ball. The, the time game ball, just in case, I know, God forbid, I don't throw another next uh, next week against FIU. But it means a lot to be in a record with, with the legend, Ed Lett. So hopefully I can break and uh, we can have a conversation about that in the future. 
And now you have two wins under your belt going into FIU. What does that do for you guys momentum-wise? Uh, it gives a lot of momentum. Uh, we get that confidence of going in uh, in Miami to play FIU, a strong team. Uh, you know, we just look forward to that game and showcasing our talents. All right, Coach, I mean, a lot of adversity this week. Just talk about what it was like to see what your team did today. It was, well, our team was phenomenal in the fact that they never gave up. They kept fighting. Everybody doing just a little bit more. I just, I'm so proud of them. I'm so happy for our our whole Gamecock family because, you know, it, I've been around more than one year, and, and this game right here is uh, no love lost in this game on either side, and I'm just real happy we came away with the win. We made a lot of mistakes, but we kept fighting, and we persevered, and we found a way to win the football game. And then just address, I mean, what it was like just having to be here without Coach Gross, and then once you found out, but and how special was it to be able to get this win without him here? Listen, it was awful not having Coach here. I mean, you know, he's our leader. He's the reason why we're all here, all of us. And so to not have him here is a big deal. And uh, just to be able to be able to have the win for him, I know it's, that's the first thing we wanted to do was call Coach, you know, because. You know, this is his program, and he's having to sit at home and watch, and he can't be here with the kids, with all of you, with all of us, and, and, and represent our, our school. And, and, you know, that's a tough spot, and, and it's a whole lot easier said than it is done, I'll tell you that right now. And uh, just so excited we get to go back home with a win. And then lastly, I'll ask you about Zarek Cooper. He tied Ed Lett's career touchdown passes record today. Um, but really, that the first touchdown pass he's thrown this year. All year. Yes. Yeah, yes, so I know. Talk about the emergence of Zarek. Yeah, well, the first thing is, Ed, get your mind right. All right. The next thing is, Coop is just, you know, he's just settling in, getting the ball to the right spot, and, you know, and, 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 and taking care of the football. Such a difference it makes when you take care of the football and then you find some running game. And I have no idea what our stats were, but we had some timely runs, I think, in the second half that were able to extend drives. We had a couple of RPOs and, you know, I mean, and here's another thing too. You know, Trey Berry's a big youngin' out there and he likes to catch that football, so we're gonna see if we can't keep throwing it to him. But, but Coop did a great job of taking care of the football and, and leading the offense today. And so just can't say enough about our kids, every single one of them, because we all have to remember that they are kids, right? These aren't professional football players. These are college students who play football. And along with all the other things that they're going on, whether they may or may not be worried about something going on at home, that show up and their head coach is not coming to the game. That's not normal. I've never played a game until today without the head football coach. And for them to just to never waver and stay after it, they did a great job. All the credit goes to them and to all the people around our program who just kept in the road and got us here. And now it's time to go home with the win, and we're real happy for it. Um, but really, that the first touchdown pass he's thrown this year. All year. Yes. Yeah, yes, so yes, I know. Talk about the emergencies there. Yeah, well, the first thing is, Ed, get your mind right. All right. The next thing is Coop is just, you know, he's just settling in, getting the ball to the right spot and, you know, and, 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 and taking care of the football. Such a difference it makes when you take care of the football and then you find some running game. And I have no idea what our stats were, but we had some timely runs, I think, in the second half that were able to extend drives. We had a couple of RPOs and, you know, I mean, and here's another thing too, you know, Trey Berry's a big youngin out there and he likes to catch that football. So we're gonna see if we can't keep throwing it to him. But, but Coop did a great job of taking care of the football and, and leading the offense today. And so just can't say enough about our kids, every single one of them, because we all have to remember that they are kids, right? These aren't professional football players. These are college students who play football and along with all the other things that they're going on, whether they may or may not be worried about something going on at home, that show up and their head coach is not coming to the game. That's not normal. I've never played a game until today without the head football coach. 
and for them to just to never waver and stay after it. They did a great job. All the credit goes to them and to all the people around our program who just kept in the road and got us here. And now it's time to go home with the win, and we're real happy for it.